in the last day or two or my Facebook or in my reels or even on my email list, you saw that I posted six must haves for your personal brand. In particular, if you are a professional service provider. Um, and one of those things is media and getting media attention. So I am super excited today to have hanging out with me here in the virtual studio. You're going to get to hear from Christy Taylor and our topic. And what we're going to be chatting about is how to master the two minute media interview. Yep, we're going to get right into it right after this quick intro. Don't you move. You're live here on the Charvette Mitchell radio show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why y'all so happy? And you don't know. Charvette Mitchell is on the radio. It's time to get motivated, excited, and influenced. And influenced. Why? It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, live from Richmond, Virginia. And now, here to motivate, excite, and influence you, Charvette, Charvette Mitchell. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting live, live from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard and seen all across the world wide web. And like literally, that's what I mean today. We have Facebook coming on in from various locations. Welcome, Facebook. We have LinkedIn coming in from various locations. We have YouTube coming on in from various locations. We have Twitter coming in from various locations. And certainly those that are uh, watching live live from charvette.com. And we cannot leave out our podcast and talk radio show stations that are catching this a little bit later. So hey, Hey there, Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio. We are excited to have you uh, here with us as always, checking out the Charvette Mental Radio Show. And I am super excited about today's segment. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We're going to be helping you all out. My guest is here. She's hanging out in the, in the background in the virtual studio. We're going to be talking about how to master the two-minute media interview. So this is what I want you to do, because I know that all of our live streaming platforms are building up our audience and sending out notifications and telling people we are live. Go ahead and tag a business bestie. Go ahead and tag another strong entrepreneur, small business owner who you know has a great story for media should be getting more media attention uh, and media attention would help their business and their brand. Go ahead and tag them, share this out and let them know Yes, you should be checking out the Charvette Mitchell radio show. As you're coming on in, uh, if you're a first time listener, viewer, let us know in the comments and also where you are chiming in and checking us out from. We are excited to have you. So let me introduce my guest because I want to utilize all of the amazing time um, that we have with you here on the Charvette Mitchell radio show. And again, thank you for those that are hanging out with us at charvette.com, our main website, which also has a full blog about our guest today. So a media personality with a knack for conversational interviews, Christy Taylor has had the joy of interviewing celebrities and community influencers on radio, TV, and podcasts, from well-renowned jazz saxophonist Kirk Whalum to author and speaker Stedman Graham. With over 20 years in the game, Christy has been featured on numerous radio commercials, including Mercedes-Benz, as well as TV and billboard advertising campaigns. While radio has served as her primary entertainment platform, Christy's acting credits include stage, television, film, and more, as well as writing and directing credits for the stage and film. And guess what? She even co-wrote the film Insecure. You can check that out on Amazon.com. And she's here today on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show to talk about how to master the two-minute media, media interview. Without further ado, put your virtual hands together for Christy Taylor coming here live on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Hey, hey girl. Hey. Hi, hey girl. Hey. <laughs> it's such a joy to be here. It is so exciting to have you, you know, we were just chatting, like how we connected, when yes. we connected, like many moons ago. So kudos to you for still being out here in these, these radio and internet streets and all of that. You know, I was thinking we were definitely in the uh, previous century. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. The early 2000s, the early 2000s, you know, do, break it into radio. 
And uh, it's so to joy over the years to see you continue and expand in uh, Charvette for the, for the record, you are an inspiration for me to oh. know that it's um, ways in life beyond traditional radio. So wow. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I love how your, you know, your bio kind of opens up uh, mm -hmm. saying, and you kind of describe yourself as this artsy soul in a media, media world. Talk to us about that. You know, most people don't know, Charvette, that actually Broadway was my ambition. I oh. actually was born in Washington, D.C., and I remember as a little girl, my mom having a vinyl collection. And one of the CDs or one of the vinyls that she had was a vinyl of Jesus Christ Superstar, which was a new Broadway musical. As a matter of fact, I think they're about to celebrate 50 years or something like that. It's oh, on wow. tour. And I just remember those songs. And having a heart for singing, um, also having just um, those ambitions. So honestly, throughout my life, I really went the path of a singer in high school. You know, I was in concert choir, uh -huh. uh, in theater for two years. And but by the time I made it to Oral Roberts University out of high school, I went as a music major. Yes, I was a music wow. major. Uh -huh. But once I got there, I always say that radio found me. Because oh. I was on tour, I was singing in groups and choirs on campus. One group that many people may know was Souls of Fire that was started by Carlton Pearson once he, when he was a student there. And yeah. uh, I discovered, Charvette, that I didn't love the life of a singer. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, not for me. <laughs> you know, the road concept, and I have a lot of friends to this day, and I'll say this, Charvette, that I would later play on radio. Who, oh, wow. during the early years, we were all, you know, singing in studios and, you know, on the road. Um, but I, I quickly learned that, ooh, this was not my cup of tea because there is an introvert in me oh, who, yeah. um, and like I said, I think I wanted more theatrical as opposed mm. to just, you know, gunning it on the road, wrapping those things, being on the tour bus. And radio turned out to be a perfect place for me to listen to music <laughs> and talk. <laughs> so <laughs> and talk. So where could I listen to music all day and talk? Um, and I discovered that in college. So that's why. But I am a closeted visual artist. I am a poet. Okay. I yes. speak out a couple of spoken word albums and books. Um, so that artsy part of me always shows. And I ended up years later going back to finishing my degree at Oral University. And I have a theater degree. So yeah. and yet. Radio always seems to be a strong foundation from which I operate, even in the new world and uh, different ways of doing it. So wow. that's the artsy part of me. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And certainly um, radio, you have been in several different markets and, and all of that. And that just keeps keeps pulling you pulling you back. And so um, for those that are just popping on in, what we're going to be talking about is how to master the two minute media interview. And so certainly uh, Christy has the background and, and can get into, into all of that. What, how has radio changed, uh, you know, over the years? Um, so I will say radio has become traditional radio, terrestrial radio has almost become, particularly if you're a music format, almost like a glorified Mm, and I hate to say this because I loved radio from a child. Uh -huh. It's almost become a glorified playlist. Oh, interesting. I see it as a glorified yeah. playlist where as a little girl who listened yeah. to radio throughout the years, I mean, for those I'm dating myself, uh, you might remember radio serials, you know, radio dramas, which also uh -huh. was a reason why I liked radio because there was that theatrical piece. Uh -huh. um, but also remember, Charvette, you would have icons in the community that were the anchors who were on radio and you could not get on their station or on their show without going through them. They were like the gatekeeper. So it was very yes. personality driven. And now you don't have the personality, local personalities as much. And so it's almost like you're just playing. And now that it's corporate owned, oftentimes. Right. The playlist is from one end of the country to the other. So you don't even have that wiggle room to be regional with the music or to break a record. So uh, that's how I kind of see radio today. Yeah, yeah. A lot of changes. And so um, you talked about kind of like terrestrial, traditional radio. Now, you know, we're on a platform that is what would be considered new media. So internet yes. radio, and then we've got live streaming and all of this. And so how important is media still? 
for Ooh, extremely <laughs> now mind you while terrestrial radio may be a glorified playlist uh -huh. it is also important just like broadcast television i still believe that there's a place for print media um, but definitely mm -hmm. digital media new media anywhere where people are gathering because that's what i see media as Media yeah. is the conduit. It's that bullhorn. It's that, you know, it's the town crier. You're going to always need a way to get your message out to the people that you need to know you exist. So yeah. media is always a conduit for you to reach the masses. And whoever controls the media controls the masses. And you definitely want to be a part of that to influence your community, the nation, and sometimes even the world. All right. All right. And small business owners, Woo. media beneficial for small business owners? Extremely. Um, mm -hmm. Even in a crowded world where there's a lot going on, there's that part. But then yeah. because there's a lot going on, there's room for to find your niche. And mm -hmm. with that being said, you know, which is one of the services that I provide with media consulting is and I know this to be true, and Charvet, you know this too. In traditional radio, you just came in and you put on an advertising package and you just say, here's my $5,000. Tell people to come to my store or my restaurant mm -hmm. or to my event or to my church. Um, but now you can actually take that same $5,000 and divvy it up based on where your clientele really is located and not just a blanketed $5,000 check to one media platform. And small businesses, hear me when I say this, your $5,000 can go much farther today <laughs> and more targeted today than ever before. So media in every across all platforms is extremely important. But the part that I really want to stress is you have to know the strategy yeah, the marketing strategy so that your money stretches because we oftentimes small businesses we're on a budget, so you uh -huh. don't want to throw your money to the wind. All right, and so I think that's a great segue to jump into this this actual topic. So, uh, how to master the two minute media interview? Now, I know some people are saying, right, two minutes. I, I, I thought I was going to talk for 30 minutes. I thought I was going to talk for an hour on Oprah. You know, I thought, where, what are you talking about two minutes? So let's kind of set that up. And we do say hello to all those that are coming Hi. on in and commenting. We see you, uh, you know, already. Ooh. Thank you so much for everyone being here. My mom and my sister are here in the audience as well. They are always oh, there in heel. Someone from Memphis. He's living up north now. Hey, sending love to everyone. All right. Thank sending you for being love. here, Memphis. Okay, so yeah. let's let's get into this, Charvette. And I'm going to be talking to you. Okay, everybody's listening, but me and you, we're chatting it up. How often have you had a situation? I want to set it up for the listener as a story. Now, mind you also, my artsy side shows up in my storytelling, and I am a produced screenwriter and playwright, so I do get into stories. Charvette, how many times have you had the fortune um, of having someone come to the studio, particularly back in the day, they were super excited to be on your show and they finally get on the mic and they freeze. Yeah. And then yeah, it becomes a pulling teeth, trying to get them to promote what they booked themselves to talk about. Um, let's talk about the next level. Maybe you have a person who has a team, you know, they've invested, they have a publicist, they have an amazing website. I mean, they have all the bells and whistles of their branding, but when they walk into this, into the interview, once again, they're the weakest link. They can't even communicate what their team has put out to the world. In most cases, what I came across is that if you can learn how to get your message across in two minutes, you can talk for 10, 15, 30, 45 to an hour. Because what it is, is what we call those, the messaging, the narrative, the sound bites. If you as a small business creative entrepreneur know how to get to the crux of who and what you are, you can sell yourself or bring awareness of yourself in two minutes. And I particularly created this and it, it's going to be launching soon. So stay tuned oh, cool. as a actual course. Um, uh -huh. Honestly, this was born out of when I left radio in 2019, I was like, I'm gonna get out here and be a media consultant and coach. And then the pandemic hit because I love uh -huh. two hour in person, rah, rah seminars. Like I love doing half day seminars. Uh -huh. So I had to rethink my control, the narrative 
seminar and mm -hmm. what does a person really need to do in two minutes? As you said, what can you do in two minutes? Well, the Super Bowl says you can sell Doritos in 60 seconds. Okay. And how many, how many millions did that cost? Will that cost, right? <laughs> exactly. You can sell you can sell a car, a Jaguar, in 15 seconds. If you're on YouTube right now and you encounter a five-second ad telling you to join a seminar or a course or start your podcast, there's a lot you can sell in a micro minute and a mat a fraction of the moment. So in two minutes, what I came up with is I said, okay. If you particularly like Charvette, as you say, we're in the world of podcasts, we're in the world of long term videos where we can sit 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour or longer. But if you are going on Good Morning America, time gonna fly by. <laughs> okay. So I said, let me help a creative entrepreneur or that business person who wants to go past the long play interview and really learn how to narrow their story down and their messaging down where they can be on national or top regional platforms. And you have only a five minute window from the time you sit down to the three questions and wrap up, they're going to a segue. So um, how, how much, how freedom, how much freedom? Cause you know, I'm about to get excited you all. Listen, we, go, go, okay. go, go. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think somebody says a freeze when they get behind the mic. I need the yeah. two minute method. Oh, I love that Catherine. The two minute method yes. indeed. Okay, so what can you do in two minutes? First and foremost, I base this on what I call the max out media mythology. Yes, I had to come up with a name, you all. I and I do a double X, max two X's, the media. We want to max out the media every single time, just like right now. Charvette is giving me this platform and I'm trying to max it out. Here I am, a quiet little girl from Washington, D.C., who really loved Jesus Christ Superstar, trying to learn how to sing, sing myself out of my shell. But I fall in love with radio and I learn to overcome my shyness. And I'm not going to say shyness, my quietness to communicate what I had in my head and my heart. That is really the evolution of who I am. And People who knew me as a child are still amazed that I became a media personality because I learned to effectively communicate my head and my heart. And this is extremely important. Did you say head and heart? Because sometimes what's in your head doesn't always pair with what's in your heart. But to maximize the two minute um, media interview, first and foremost, I tell people to max it out. The first M stands for mindset. It stands for your mindset. And I called it mind shift. You shift your mind to the winner's mind, where you also believe in the law of attraction, that good things are coming to you. And that, like Charvette, she wants me to win on this interview, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. The interviewer wants you to win. So show up knowing it's a win-win. I want to win. She wants me to win. So that's a mind shift. The second thing is, what is your appearance? And I believe being a very spiritual person who grew up in church and believe in the power and you know of God and the light of God, that that your appearance starts with the inner and not just the outer. And your inner actually starts the night before your morning or afternoon or evening interview. It starts with you having a mindset, a, a, a sense of meditation and connected to who you are as a person. And then also hydration, get your rest so you can look good. <laughs> so when you put that face on, you know what I'm saying? You won't have, it, it's not fighting the tiredness. Even your attire needs to reflect your personality and things of that nature. So I believe that first and foremost, it's your mindset. And this is very quick because honestly, it's a whole class. But number one, the mindset shift. Shift your mind to win. That everyone wants you to win from the person who is turning on the cameras or the microphones, walking you into the door, making sure that your inner and your outer appearance is important. And let me tell you this, I'm gonna drop this in. Charvette, how many times have you interviewed someone and the receptionist later told you that they were rude when they... Or the assistant was rude or the, uh, yeah. All of that is included in your appearance. Your entire team needs to reflect your brand. If your brand is your, hi, I'm good. And then you have the rudest team about you. That is a part of your appearance. So your inner and your outer appearance, including your team, how you pull up to the radio station, how you show up, you know, on time for the interview, wherever it is, virtually or in person, 
all of that is reflected of your appearance. So that's the M, the mindset. There's a lot to the mindset shift into the appearance. But I want to rush to the two things that most people want to really focus on, which is now, the double Christy, S. Christy, I'm going to leave a cliffhanger right here. Okay. So you're going to do a quick commercial break. Listen, listen, Robert said, preach, sister, <laughs> preach, preach, preach. We got her at a cliffhanger. We have a, a quick commercial break and we're going to come back with those two there while they're going to commercial. How can people follow you online? Well, first of all, go to ChristyTaylorConsulting.com. That's ChristyTaylorConsulting.com. Find me on all social media platforms. But my website is The World I Live In. So let's hang out there. All right. Thank you. We will allow you to uh, have a snack in the virtual studio, virtual green room. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Tag a business owner, tag someone who you know uh, media attention could be beneficial for their brand, for their business, for their entity. And then we're going to be back here with Christy Taylor. Don't you move. We'll be right back. Achieving woman entrepreneur who is ready to ditch being invisible and unpolished, but finally ready to shine a spotlight on your expertise and services. There's a better way to increase the visibility of your personal brand and gain more customers. Let Sherbet Mitchell show you with the Platform Builder Program. The Platform Builder Program is her signature 12-month group coaching program built for female entrepreneurs and leaders who are ready to position their expertise and services with a polished visual brand, increase visibility with speaking opportunities, build authority with a published book, and convert more customers with content marketing. Not only do you walk away with all of the juicy strategic nuggets in Charvette's head, but with tangible outcomes that you can see and feel. Find out more and apply at www.platformbuilder.biz. I'll be here to hear what's on your mind. Take this time to talk and get it right. You know I'll be there all your life. When you need me, I'll be by your side, by your side. And every day is a different day, everything is in everything, even when you think, things can never ever be the same. Don't be scared of the world, I'll be here to stay, by your side. Even when your heart ain't listening, or your mind takes you a different way, towards a different path, all you gotta do is sit and ask. When the adults in a child's life talk early and often about the dangers of underage drinking, the message gets stronger every time. I'll be by your side. Talk. They hear you. All right. Let's jump back into our conversation here on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. How to master the two-minute media interview. We've got Christy Taylor with us. Let me bring her back into the virtual studio up to the mic. All right. Christy, we left the audience at a cliffhanger. Take it away. Well, recap. Max Out Media with a double X. Mindset. Mindset shift. Everybody wants you to win and you need to come with a mindset to win in communicating your message to the world and their audience. The second one, of course, is appearance, inner, outer, even your team as a reflection of who you are, leading to the cliffhanger. That was like a commercial like in last week. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so the double X is really your experience and expertise. Now, I know, I know experience and expertise actually starts with an E, but I took advantage of that second alphabet, experience and expertise. Now, what do I mean by that? Oftentimes, people think about, well, my experience is, okay, that I've been on radio for over 20-something years. Well, the truth is, my experience is my life experiences. I like to focus the life experiences. What are the things that influenced and inspired me to even do radio? I would like to talk about those personal stories, a very quiet child, overcoming childhood trauma, learning different ways, how to communicate what was in my head and my heart, um, realizing that though I love to sing, that music was not my life <laughs> uh -huh. and finding that radio was more befitting for me because I could be in a small room with a microphone, music playing and like, is anybody listening? You know, that was me performing theatrically because the power of the voice. Um, so I found my theatrical outlook that way as well. 
So that lends into who I am as a, as a storyteller, understanding that I'm a poet, that I like to be very lyrical and colorful and always like to put the smile in my voice. And most people, one, I remember one time I was on radio and a lady called and said, you know, you're always smi-. you're like, I can see your smile through your through the radio. She said, now, I know no one can be that happy all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, then I can lend it to my my spiritual story. The fact is, I'm not happy all the time, but I am tapped into joy all the time. Mm, Come on now. Good. You know, yes. so I have an opportunity to layer all of that into my life experience. And I just really want to show up like today and make y'all feel like, ah, you know, have that feeling <laughs> because that's who I am. And that's the influence I want to have in the world. Now, how does that lend to my expertise? Well, my expertise really lends into the professional messaging that I have. Well, now that I'm a consultant, my media consultant, and I'm here to share with that, my my, my, my expertise is, is I have been in media, in entertainment, in film, in music since I was 17. So I've got 40 years in the game of knowing how to behave and perform at the highest levels around some of the most influential people in the spaces I've been in. So I leave with you the fact that my expertise is based in performing at the highest level in music, in media, in film, and being able to say that I'm going to be able to teach you how to do the same thing. And one of the things that I know people say, well, um, I'm just here to sell my book. But why should I buy your book? Why should I trust that you can give me the expertise? Because I need the life experiences to say to me, you are not only an expert in the space, but you have a story that influenced your level of expertise. That's sometimes what I feel like when I'm interviewing people. And I know you feel the same for that. It's like, you, I could have just read your press release. You didn't have to take up 30 minutes of my show if you're just going to hawk your story or just hawk your book or just hawk your event. I want to know why are you holding a homeless fundraiser? Oh, it's because at some point in your life, you or your family member or someone that was close to you experienced homelessness. Now that's a layer to me pushing your event because it has a personal mm-hmm. connection. Um, any, any questions? All right, y'all. y'all I cool. love it. Listen, and so I think this is is being the the story of the brand. Bring, Correct. and I love that you are bringing out what's the personality. And here's the thing: these are things that people can sit down and like write out. Right? They don't have to. I think people feel like they can. They just have to wing it. Um, mm-hmm. But talk a little bit about the the preparation. Like you can write some of these nuggets down for yourself and rehearse them. As a matter of fact, Charvette just had an amazing two minute interlude where we see she helps people. People with personal branding, not only just in crafting your story, but making you look good. Well, when you're in that space working with a consultant or a coach or a publicist, make sure you're not letting them do all the work and you're not memorizing the information. That's what I mean by a lot of times people will build out a team. You will invest your money in the look and the feel of your brand and you are the weakest link. Make sure that you are a part of the process so that you know your story. You know your message and that and oftentimes this is Charvette, am I true? You would yeah. have somebody who has probably invested quite a bit of money and they've got a copywriter, they have somebody who has crafted their book, and then they can't recite it. Nope. Because it was someone else's words. They were not a part of the process. So as a business owner, as a creative entrepreneur, as someone in leadership, whatever your position is, make sure you are a part of the process of getting your story, your brand story, your personal story, your your professional uh, messaging, your brand messaging. Make sure you're part of the process and write down those nuggets. And I'm going to tell you, I have one quick little exercise. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so here's one of the things that I teach in that class that I'm looking forward to. And this is helping me like rah, rah, I have to launch it. Yes. Is how do you actually, how do you tell your story? Mm-hmm. It's like my story is boring, but of course there's been plenty of literature, the authentic storyteller. I mean, plenty of audio books, but why don't you just get a journal? And mm-hmm. I mean, this is simple. This is a cheat code, dropping gems. <laughs> and what were the things you love between the age of zero and five? Just jot them down. Then go five to 10 years old. Standout memories, da, 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 da. 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 
20 to 25. And if you're really up there with some of us, you know, you got a couple more. <laughs> you the more wrongs you can add to that ladder. And look back at it and look at and see the thread of your life. Now, of course, I'm also telling you something that if you are a author, if you are a playwright, if you are a film screenwriter, these are things you have to do when it comes to what they call to de character development is give the person a story. Well, you already have one and you've already lived it. Now, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you need to go back through your story, the spine of your story and find out the jewels. Oh, it was because I fell off the bike that I decided that I'm not going to, you know, surrender to failing in life. And that's the reason I became a cyclist. You know what I'm saying? There's always yes. a nugget. And so take a journal and just start there. And when you sum it up, find maybe five key stories. Now, this is this. Oh, what is your story? This is good. Yeah. What is your story? Your story could be now check this out. Okay. Charvette, you know this to be true. Maybe you're gonna be on, you're gonna be doing a round of interviews, but you're like, Yes, I'm selling my book about um, giraffes. <laughs> okay, I'm just using that. <laughs> right. Okay, so what about giraffes that you love? Oh, it's when, you know, when I was a little child, we went to the zoo. But let's say that throughout your life, you had different experiences with giraffes, the reason why you're writing a book about it and you want to save the habitat and all like that. Well, you may have five interviews lined up on different platforms and you have five different stories. Well, when I was five years old, Oh, remember that time when I was 10 years old? You see what I'm saying? You see how that works? Right. You're pulling from your life experiences through the chapters of your life, lending to the audience the why you wrote a book about giraffes in their habitat. Ah, uh, so, so <laughs> good. You all have to jump over to Christy Taylor Consulting.com. Connect, connect on social media. Again, one more time, how can they connect with you on social media? Okay, first of all, go to Instagram and look for Christy Taylor Consulting and AKA. Also, you can follow me about my show. I have a television show, Christy Taylor Show, the Christy Taylor Show, but we're going to be pushing Christy Taylor Consulting on Instagram, also Facebook. Go to my website, christytaylorconsulting.com, and all of that information is there. Even LinkedIn and Twitter, look for Christy Taylor. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. And I got to shout out, uh, Catherine, and shout out to all those that are that are watching live and those that are going to be coming back and uh, hitting uh, in the replay. So type replay if you're watching the replay. Um, but Kathy has just put out a book uh, on her own, and she also is in my upcoming book collaboration. So she's been getting a lot of podcast interviews and all of that. So I know for her to say, this is good. Oftentimes, I think of us just thinking about those life stories so you don't feel like I'm so I feel like I'm saying the same thing, You're right? But guess what? In the same kind of nugget, you know, if somebody's on the Christy Taylor show and someone's on Charvette Mitchell radio show, we mm -hmm. have our own audiences, so there mm -hmm. will be some repetition, you know, yes. that comes that comes with that. Let me uh, shout out from Detroit, my Come cousin. Detroit. Hey, uh, Jacqueline. <laughs> yes, I think this is the first time she's watched live. So thank you for <sighs> thank you for being here. Um, mm -hmm. So there is, it's okay to have some repetition, but I love that process of mm -hmm. pulling out nuggets so that you're ready to go. And I think the preparation is really yes. what you are saying. And you've interviewed people like Stepman Graham. Yes. Like, did you see him employ, you know, any of these, these tactics? Actually, I did. It was a radio interview. Um, I was on an urban AC station and he was on a, a tour. You know, he's a speaker um, mm -hmm. by profession and he was on a speaker tour and he was traveling with this. Um, I think it was like traveling to different schools and he, he did his phoner and he, First of all, him, I'll say Stedman, and one of my biggest ones is Kirk Whalem. And he made oh, me a better yeah. interviewer, is always start with a story. Can I just drop that nugget? Yes, always yes. start with a story. Do not go directly to your product, service, or calls. Don't do that because then I could have just read your press release. Yeah. Always start with a story. So he's talking about himself. And as he's talking about that and how it ties into him speaking to young people and the trials and tribulations and he's parented with his own you know childhood and how he overcame you know so he's he's paralleling yeah. his story with the stories he's going to be sharing with the high schoolers now i have to tell you charvette after he did all that and we was coming to the wrap up <clears throat> i said um now i do try to you know get a little zinger from i said i said you know and he's talked about everything but the woman we know him to be associated with right 
a billionaire who should we remain nameless? <laughs> I said, um, and of course he's saying so many of the same things that she says on her platform. So it's very yeah. reminiscent to hear his mindset and to know this is what Oprah Winfrey says on her show every day. These same principles, these same philosophies that he's now sharing as a speaker with high schools. And I said, can we talk about the elephant in the room? <laughs> Uh -huh. And you know, and and because it 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 was a little, it didn't it wasn't off putting because the way I said it, because mm -hmm. he had already built up and we were coming to the end, and he said and he started with a story again, ah, because it also yeah. let me tell you the the beauty of a story, it also gives you pause to think about what you really want to reveal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and of course, some people say you can exaggerate and add and stuff like that. So let me let me tell you like this. You know, if nobody wants to give you a yes or no answer, they said, "Let me tell you what happened." They're building the story out before uh -huh. they get to why were you thirty minutes late for our date? Well, what yeah. had happened was, yeah. <laughs> so even Stepman, who was a really great interview, and particularly when we got to that point. Because I did say, can we talk about the elephant in the room? And then he said, yes, we can. And he went to a quick little story. And it had to do with the fact that he was dating a girl from Mississippi. Mm. You see how he took, he humanized yes. them. He first, he humanized her. Yeah. After he had already humanized himself. And compared himself to high school is the reason why he can share this. And now he's letting me know she's just a girl from Mississippi who made good. Yeah, yeah. But she's a girl from Mississippi who also took these principles and changed her life. Do you see how he once again tied his own personal life into what yeah. he was on the show to do, which was to inspire and have people come out to whatever event he was pushing? She's just a girl from Mississippi who made good. Wow. So, so good. Listen, I don't want to take any more of your time because we could keep going. I know we could, we could keep talking for another hour. Well, um, definitely. I want to say thank you, Charvette. Thank you so very much, Charvette Mitchell, for giving me this opportunity to talk to your audience. And I hope and pray that, you know, I've said something that will be inspiring to those amazing people that you help every single day. And if they need my assistance past what you're doing, such yeah. as getting into the crux and helping them break down their personal stories and their personal messaging and having it where they have choices and making yeah. sure that they are attentive to the work that you're doing with them. <laughs> uh, I am available as well, ChristyTaylorConsulting.com. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. And if you're hanging out on Charvette.com full bio with links to um, all of Christy's connections are there. If you're listening in the podcast or on uh, the talk radio show platform, just listen, continue to listen, look down below in the show notes and you will see the links and connection points there. Uh, I tell you, this has been amazing. We're wrapping up the very last thing that I want to ask, because the goal of the show is to motivate, excite and influence. And we want to know what continues to motivate Christy Taylor. Life. Yeah. Life. I, I have a seminar and I do mean life, but I have to say that I'm speaking from a, a level of an acronym in my 20s mm -hmm. living in Detroit. Uh, I lived there for a split second when I was still thinking I was going to be a singer and realizing <laughs> that no radio is going to be my thing. Uh, life in full expression, L living life, the essence of life, mm -hmm. uh, the very. How can I say this? What motivates me is waking up. Is when the sun, and I literally mean this, I know this may sound trite, but mm -hmm. when you overcome trauma and you create life out of nothingness and out of sheer faith, yeah, the everyday, the mundane becomes miracles. I, I really do, and I'm an introvert, so mm -hmm. I and I and I love nature, so I can watch a ladybug and find a message in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But life itself, like life and all of its, the teeming of, of leaves and trees and you and the people talking and, you know, people, couples, you know, just life itself inspires me to keep going. Yeah. I, sometimes I'll even see the wind take something, a leaf up and, and I'll hear the spirit say, everything is in motion. Mm hmm yeah, so yeah, that's, that's life. good. And just that, it's like, then you stay in motion. You keep moving forward. Yeah, life. <sighs> So good. Christy, thank you so much for being willing to be on the other side of the microphone. <laughs> it's so good. 
good. It felt good. Thank you. It felt good. It felt good. And our listeners absolutely have uh, taken this in and, and I'm seeing wows and uh, this is very informative for a lot of different uh, listeners and viewers. So thank you for being here. And we're going to keep our eye out on you. Uh, don't you. forgive me when you want, you know, you walking on the red carpet with Honey, you know, the Emmy. I will not the- ever forget Charlotte Mitchell, ever. <laughs> Uh, and I'll do the same and I'll do thank the you, same. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Uh, I am telling you, wow, right? Wow. This is a show that you need to rewatch or re-listen to because you need a notebook, a journal, a pen to write down what Christy said. And really, our focus here is about the two minute, you know, media interview. But I saw somebody mention in the comments, this is the elevator pitch. Sometimes you only have two minutes to get across to somebody you meet in the elevator or a networking event. Sometimes you might only have two minutes uh, within a Instagram reel or anywhere on social media. So I love this notion of how do you succinctly tell um, what you bring to the table by weaving in your story. So keep up with Christy Taylor. Absolutely. Kathy, you are, you are welcome. She said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are absolutely welcome. And uh, Jacqueline is saying, thank you for reminding us life itself. Um, That is, that's motivation enough. All right. It's a wrap for us here on the Charvette Mitchell radio show. Find out more about the show, our upcoming guests, our past guests, and about me at Charvette.com. And again, this segment was brought to you by my upcoming platform builder program, which is in uh, enrollment right now until June 8th. And let's work together for the next 12 months. Find out more about that at platformbuilder.biz. You heard a little bit about that in uh, one of our commercial breaks. And other than that, we'll see you all later on the web. Bye. Live from Richmond, Virginia, you've been listening to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Catch Charvette Mitchell every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Interviewing all the stars you want to hear from. So until next week, stay motivated, excited, and influenced. This is the Charvette.